Good morning, America. Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Pray for America. 714, 7 a.m., getting together for 14 minutes of prayer for our nation, our president, our election results. There's a lot going on, and there's a lot that needs our prayer. We pray out of 2 Chronicles 7.14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Folks, we have a constant, as constant as the northern star as the beautiful moon over our heads. Good morning, Beth. As, as sure, actually more sure than the rising sun. Where he exists outside of time. He created all things, even time. And he says that we can count on him, that we can depend on him. There are so many promises in the Word. And Lord, we turn to your Word and your promises this morning. We have, we have needs, we have a giant need in terms of our nation. And Lord God, we proclaim your will be done. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So let's gather together and beseech the Lord for grace and help in our time of need. He is, he is not in any way unable to do anything he pleases. And we know he is pleased to answer prayers. So, Lord Jesus, we run to you this morning. We run to your throne. Father, joyfully in thankfulness for all that you've done for us. Lord, so grateful for the changing of the seasons, Lord, for bringing in the, the winter to the Orlando area and to the nation so thankful for all the things that you have given us that can never change. Things like love and joy and peace and goodness, humility, long-suffering, patience, and faith. Lord, when our faith is tested, help us to remember your word that says, by the testing of your faith, it is strengthened, and endurance is the result. In any exercise, there's resistance. In any fight, there's resistance. It's not a battle if there is no resistance. So we thank you, Father, that you have allowed us to need to cry out to you for grace and help in our time of need. And Lord, our country needs you. We need you, Lord God, to bring justice and equity and righteousness and peace in our nation. We pray for America, Lord. Bring us revival, we pray, Lord. Starting with us. And to our whole world. May the gospel flourish in America, and may righteous rule in our land. Lord, we pray that you would expose the dark deeds of evil, and that you and your power and your purposes would prevail. Thank you, Lord. We pray that you would send revival in our land 
Oh God, Lord, we humbly ask that you would pour open the windows of heaven. Throw open the windows of heaven and pour out your spirit upon America, Lord, that many would be swept into your kingdom and into your church. Oh, Father, let freedom expand in our, in our nation, Lord. And yes, I know some will sinfully take advantage of it, Father, but the gospel will be proclaimed. Let freedom expand in our, in our nation, I pray, Father God. And at the same time, Lord, we pray, we lift up those innocent babies that are being slaughtered day by day. Lord, protect them. I pray that you would make abortion unthinkable in America. Lord, allow, allow people to understand what a wicked crime it is, a crime against humanity. And Lord, those on this call who have had abortions, thank you, God, for your forgiveness, for your restoration, for your peace and your grace. My own wife and I have walked through this tragedy uh, and seen your your restoration and your peace and your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, that you are so merciful and kind. Lord, we lift up our president, President Donald J. Trump. Whether he's president for a few more days or a few more years, dear God, would you protect him, give him wisdom, Show him what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Show him what to say, when to say it, how to say it. Lord God, if it is your intention to give him victory in this battle over the election, and we believe it is, then give him victory in this battle over the election. Lord, we are not powerful in our own right. We are powerful in our prayer life. That's it. And so to you we appeal. To you we cry out. And to you we commit to be obedient. And we thank you for the privilege of knowing you. Thank you for the privilege of standing together as friends, approaching your throne, and moving history through intercession, through praying, through asking, through seeking, through knocking. Lord, bring those who have committed crimes in our land regarding the 2020 election into the light so that what is right and fair and the will of the American people will be done. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We pray for President Trump and his family. Dear God, keep them safe. Keep them encouraged. Keep them strong. Keep them uh, resolute, Lord. I pray for his cabinet, Lord God. Please be with them. Keep them safe and healthy, Lord all of his advisors and commanders, all who serve him, Lord. Give them wisdom and clear-headed thinking to know your will and do it. Thank you, Lord God. And Father, we lift up these in these different states, these people, Congress, congressmen, senators, governors, mayors, all who have decision-making power regarding these electors and this election. Give them wisdom, Father. 
from you. And we proclaim your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. We appeal to you to do your will. And we, as your ambassadors, help us to speak about your kingdom to those that we love and know. Help us to be open and honest about our faith, that we could share it with others so that others may also come to know you. Lord, we want to expand your kingdom by our, by our own life. And when people look at us, God, may they rejoice in you because of our lives. Help us, Lord, to simply humbly serve, to, to be what you need us to be, to go and do what you call us to do. Until the day we see you face to face, and what a joy. What a joyful, what a great moment that will be. Thank you, Father, for helping us keep our mind on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God and not to get distracted by the things that are on the earth. The things that are on the earth are, bit, are important for us to we live our lives and, and deal with the things that are on the earth, Lord. But our peace comes from you. Our peace comes from knowing you. Lord, our sense of joy comes from being saved. It comes from all you have done for us, Lord. And we're so grateful. But our burden, Lord, is to love others and to cry out on their behalf to you for their salvation and their restoration. Lord, we lift up our children to you right now. Our kids. Lord, I have four sons, two wonderful daughters-in-law, and five grandkids. Lord, may they all come to know you and serve you. Lord, as that Baptist minister prayed over me that day when I was laying in convulsions on the pool side after falling off the high diving board, um, no one expected me to live, but he prayed, may he, may he live to love you and serve you, Lord. May all of our children, all of them, live to love you and serve you. Father, keep them all safe and bring them all into your kingdom, we pray. And God, we pray also for the sick among us. Lord, would you stretch forth your hand to heal. And we say to these sick ones, be healed in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let your power flow forth right now, Lord God, and deliver our friends who are sick. Yes, God. Thank you. Yes. And Lord, I agree with the prayers of my friends that have prayed here this morning. I agree with Mame. Please shower your blessings on us, the USA, President Trump, our babies, our sick. Oh, Lord, we love and trust you. Please do your will. We need you now. Lord, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mame, for offering that beautiful prayer. We do agree with you. And Lord, we pray for um, Karen, for Diane. Hi, Karen, good to see you this morning. Thank you so much for healing our friends of all their illness, illnesses. Lord, I pray that you would protect us all from COVID and restore those who are uh, slowly recovering. Lord, may there be great reports, total healing in Jesus' name for all of our friends. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just want to lift up, lastly, the Supreme Court. It, it, it appears as though uh, things may come down to the Supreme Court in the final analysis regarding the election. And Lord, I, I don't say to you, do this or that. I will let, let my will be known. My will is that President Trump has been reelected. I believe he has been reelected. And so 
I will say my will is that uh, righteousness would prevail. Lord, we pray that you would cause the truth and nothing else to be known. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I believe the evidence is pretty clear. So let righteousness rule. Let righteousness reign. Cause righteousness to reign through the prayers of your saints. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Bless John. Bless your wife. I hope she is doing better. Oh, she's okay. Great. That's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that. And thank God. And now she has the antibodies. Praise the Lord. That's 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 excellent. Yes, we have been praying, and we thank you, Lord, for John's wife, Denise, for getting her through this. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift up all that we know with COVID and pray, God, that you'd bring them all through safely. And we thank you, Father, for all these things in the priceless and precious name of Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord. Let your presence and your joy go with us all through this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you guys for joining me for prayer time. And I look forward to seeing you this afternoon at 5 p.m. for the John Morgan Show. Humor. Passion. And perspective in the midst of a pandemic. In the midst of a crazy, crazy storm in our country. Peace in the pandemic. Yes, indeed. We can have joy in the Lord no matter what's going on around us. Amen. That's our. That's we've been commanded. Be joyful in all things, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And so that we believe to be true. Well, God bless you, friends. Isn't it cold outside? Ooh, it's burry. We got our house lights up, and uh, we're pretty excited. Christmas is on the way, and we are uh, in that ho ho holy moment. <laughs> The, the, the miracles of Christmas are here again for us to be reminded of so many miracles, starting with the, the Annunciation, the virgin shall be with child. What? That is a mega miracle that took place without which we would never have seen the Savior come into our midst. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Good prayer, John. Mary, good to see you. Thank you all. Have an excellent day. Enjoy your coffee, and I will see you later on.